Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little October wrap up and because I only read five books this month, we're also going to include my November TBR, um, which is honestly just going to be all the books that I'm currently reading. So let's get into it. Halloween when I'm filming, filming this, so happy Halloween. I think this is going up November 1st, so sorry it's past, hope it was good, hope you got lots of treats, but Let's talk about books now. I don't know why. I'm acting weird. I'm feeling feisty. Um, never say that again. Strong. The first book I read this month was News From Nowhere by William Morris. I actually read this for my English 655 class. I've been reading a lot of Victorian fantasy, if you can't tell, in the past few months. And so this was the last book for this freaking stupid class. Pardon me, I didn't mean that. It was a fine class. I actually ended up getting an A in it, so yay! Um, but yeah, News From Nowhere. I rated it two stars. I didn't like it. I didn't leave a review. But it was boring. I don't remember a single thing from it. Well, I do remember a few things from it. I do remember getting in a heated discussion based on this book, so shout out to Major for always reading all of these books with me or like the English 655 books I appreciate it hair looks weird I feel like it's it's giving she needs help Halloween the only scary thing here is my hair <laughs> the next book I read and oh my gosh I'm so happy I got to read this book was Magnolia Parks by Jesse Hastings I read this I got it from the library I've been waiting I'm waiting on all the other books but I had been waiting for this book for so long and finally I got it I read it and it was five stars I read I read it at five stars ten stars five stars and oh my gosh my heart absolutely broke at the end I honestly did not see like if you guys have read it if you guys plan on reading it I'm not gonna spoil it but the ending like the person, and that's all I'm going to say, honestly shocked me. I was not expecting it at all. Um, listen to people when they say BJ and Magnolia are like goals, but also like do not enter a relationship in real life like that. Like it's only fun because it's a fictional story. It is definitely people's comparisons. The comparison of Gossip Girl, but for the British elites, that's exactly what's happening here. And I loved it. It was fantastic. I will say the writing style was definitely interesting. I've never, I've definitely read books that address the reader, so I don't want to say I never, but I feel like I definitely noticed it to be different compared to all the other books that I have been reading or have read in like the past couple years. I kind of read like the, the narrator Magnolia. I think that's, I think Magnolia is a narrator. It read like she knew that we were present, so like she was talking to us, I guess. Um, and sometimes it was like weird for me, but it was fine. It was like actual Gossip Girl. So take that, take, take that as you will. And then I read another great book. I read Fourth Wing. Major actually let me borrow, borrow her copy of this from the library. We both read it while she had her library loan, which I'm so grateful for her. Um, I ended up reading it five stars. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful for November because that will be on my TBR to read this month. I mean, oh my gosh, it was amazing. It, I will say there were some parts of it that didn't seem correct to me, but I love the main character. I love the love interest. I will say, I think it's projected to have six books and I'm just confused where it's going to go with how it ended. Like, the love triangle was not a love triangle. I will say, I texted Major and Ashley while I was reading this, and I, let me just, let me just show you the text. I don't know if you guys could read that, but yeah, it was so good, and not that that's like the only good thing about that book, but I will say it was very, it was well done. It was well done. Steak was well done. I don't, I don't know where that came from, just like, them. Moving on, the next book I read was actually for school and that was a poetry collection book. It's an autobiography. I don't know, people debate what this is, but we read it for a poetry class, so I'm going to say it's poetry. And that is Dicte by Teresa Hot Kong Cha. Um, and yeah, I loved this. I actually, I rated it three stars on Goodreads, but I think it deserves a four stars. My initial rating was, honestly, I'm going to change it to four stars really fast um 
My initial three star rating was just because I feel like I didn't understand it, but after going through it in class over two class periods, I felt like I got a better grasp on it and it made me appreciate it more. Um, not that three stars is bad, but it was mostly because of me, not because of the actual poetry itself. Um, so yeah, if you like experimental poetry, I don't know if that's what this is called, but I feel like there were some techniques and things done that I don't normally see, which is why I'm saying it's experimental, which, don't quote me, I could be totally wrong on that. I don't know poetry that well. Um, but yeah. I really liked it. It is tragic to hear that this was like republished and then the same week she was tragically murdered. Um, and I think some of the things she talks about in this in this collection or in this book is just like, wow, the irony of that happening is kind of crazy. But I definitely, I definitely recommend it. I'm going to actually try to get my friend Major to read this because she's been loving poetry and I just feel like, I feel like every poetry thing I read I need to give to her. So Major, if you're watching this, I'm going to expect a text. Expect a text if you haven't already had one. Um, but yeah, this was four stars. Three stars initially, but I think it deserves four stars. Um, and the star missing is still from my like not understanding or maybe not relating to it as much. Last and final book I read this month was called The Survivalist by K um, Kishana Kali. I actually returned this book to the library yesterday so I'm sad I don't have a physical copy. I will say it seems like all the books I've read this month have been really from the library which is great. Um, but anyways I ended up reading this one a solid three stars. Nope I didn't. I rated it two and a half stars. So basically the story is following this girl, Aretha, nope, not Aretha, Aretha, Aretha. I have a such a hard, I have such a hard time saying that name for some reason. I don't, I'm not sure why, but anyways, we're going to move on. Um, I don't, I'm talking with my hands a lot today. There's a lot of energy going on. <laughs> It follows this main character. She's a black woman. She's a lawyer as well. And she starts seeing this guy where he is a survivalist. And if you don't know what a survivalist, it's kind of like doomsday preppers or whatever it's called. Um, where they just like, they kind of believe the end of the world is going to happen. And so they're always kind of prepared for that. And for some people that makes them kind of reclusive and like creates bunkers in their house and like they have a lot of guns and random things like that. So basically she starts dating one of these people who claims he's not really a survivalist, but as it keeps on going, he kind of is. And it's basically just a relationship between them and how she um, kind of gets entrenched into that world. And then the end had like a major shift and I didn't understand what was going on. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't my style of book. I had to read it um, to review it. And so I probably honestly would not pick this up. I don't want to say I wouldn't recommend it because I think for the right audience, it's it would be a great book. But it just didn't interest me. I felt like I just, yeah, I didn't really like it that much. And that's completely okay. That's my opinion. But that's my opinion. We'll move on to the books I want to finish this month. Number one being Golden Sun by freaking Pierce Brown. I need to finish this. Cena and I, Cena's been re read this since like August. I don't know. We read, we, we, <laughs> we buddy read Red Rising and then we started Golden Sun at the same time and I just have not been able to pick it up. It's a great book. I rated Red Rising five stars. So far this is honestly better than the first book. Um, so I don't know why I can't pick it up. I think I'm just like everything going on around me is yeah but anyways I would really like to finish this book if it doesn't happen it'll be on my December TBR we're gonna try to finish my TBR before the end of the year um so we have two months one is consumed by Aja um Barber which I actually have it in my book bag so I'm gonna grab it I did not think this book was gonna really interest me not that the topic isn't like an intriguing topic it's called consume the need for collective change colonialism climate change and consumerism so when i like read this this is another book that i have to read to review i actually have to finish this like by tomorrow um but anyways i was like this doesn't really sound that interesting not that it's actually not that it doesn't sound interesting it just doesn't sound like something i want to pick up and read but i started it and oh my gosh her 
writing style is phenomenal. She is one that addresses the reader um, and she does it in a very fun way and I think there's a lot of humor, there's a lot of call out in this and I think after I finished this book my life of like all of the things that she said, my um, viewpoint on climate change, colonialism, and consumerism is definitely going to be impacted for the better. Um, so yeah, I think this one is going to be really good. I just I just need to finish it. Next so we have Seven and a Half um, Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I am in the middle of this. I need to finish it. I think my loan actually is expired. So I need to re-get that from the library and finish that. I have This Afterlife by A.E. Stallions. This is Selected Poetry. I, again... I'm a little, I'm like barely through this actually, but I need to go ahead and finish this. So encourage me. It's a beautiful book. So why am I not finishing it? I'll actually finish this very soon. This is recycle. Nope. This is not recyclopedia. This is dictate. I'm going to finish this one on Thursday. So this is recyclopedia um, by Harriet Mullen. It's trimming sperm kit and muse and dredge, dredge, dredge. I don't know. I only have the last section left, so I'm definitely going to finish this. So at least we know at the end of the end of the month this book will be there because I'm almost done with it. Random books that I want to read, like I said, I want to read Iron Flame, which is the second book in the Fourth Wing um, six book series. I also want to read A Curse for True Love. I did not get to read that in October. I I put a hold on it before it was even like published out in the world, and I'm like in place 200 something and so my friend Ashley or her roommate Laura actually bought the book after I told her to read it so I'm so excited and I'm sad kind of because they've read the third book before I have and I'm the one that told them about the series not not that I actually care I'm really glad people are reading it because it's a phenomenal series but I'm like please Laura let me borrow it so I can read it if not hopefully my library alone will work but yeah I want to read those and then I also want to read two poetry books that Major lent me. I wanted to read these in October, but I just didn't get to them. And that is Time is a Mother by Ocean Bong and then Dog Songs by Mary Oliver. I've heard great things about dog songs and also great things about this author. So I think these will be quick and I just need to like actually get through them and it'll be great. Then the last three books are also poetry books and these are for my poetry class that I'm taking. I don't know if I know we're definitely reading two of these in November. I don't know about the last one, but I'm just going to include it in case. So the first one, we're actually going to start this next week, is called Citizen, an American Lyric by Claudia Rankine. I have no idea what this entails. Um, I'll have to give you guys an update at the end of the month. But yeah, I've actually been really enjoying the poetry in this class, so I'm sure it's great. But that's the first one. The next one that I know that we're reading is IRL by Tommy Pico. Um, again, don't know anything about this. It looks to be one long poem. This is literally one long poem and it is almost 100 pages. So I think that's super interesting and it's in a text format. So I mean, form is going crazy. But anyways, we have this one. At least we're going to tentatively keep it on my Oh my gosh, I just remembered another one. The last book that Elsie Silvers published in the Chestnut Spring series. I started it, have not finished it. I want to read that one. Oh my gosh. Okay, back to this. Again, don't know if we're reading this, but this is Vuelte by Lourdes Figaro. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I think this book is gorgeous. Um, it looks really pretty. So we're going to read this, I think, this month. But yeah gorgeous. I think that's everything I read in October in my November TBR. We will see where we are at the end of October or at the end of November. I cannot believe we're through another month. Like what in the world? I think I'm six books ahead on my reading goal so I'm hoping like with the completion of all these books I'll be right on track. But yeah thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm feeling excited for November. Said no one. Um, send me. Something's going on up here, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Let me know what you are reading this month. I always say that, but no one comments, so if you're one of my friends, please comment so I look cool. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace and love. Bye, guys.